Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting cruise ship tour. Today we're checking out the Carnival Conquest, all 14 decks of her. The Carnival Conquest is sailing out of Miami, Florida on short Bahamas itineraries. She's not a gigantic ship by today's standards. There are many mega ships sailing the same waters that she does today, but I do think that she has a lot of charm and the Impressionist theme, while a very interesting one in today's day and age, does fit the ship and it makes it a little bit more fun than maybe some of the newer ships. Quick pitch for the channel before we begin, if you haven't liked this video already or subscribed to the channel, please do so. The glass elevator here is taking us up all the way to deck 14. Well, not completely because you do have to take stairs to get up to deck 14, but that is where you're going to find Serenity, which is the adults only retreat on board the Carnival Conquest and other Carnival ships. This is completely free for adults, 21 and over. On the very top deck here, there's two decks that are kind of split, not full decks necessarily, but a good amount of space for adults only here. Uh, you have two hot tubs right there, which is great. Those were closed while I was walking around here in the early morning hours, but overall a really nice feel to this deck. Love the plush chairs there, but the funny thing with this ship is they're trying to cram a lot of stuff on board um, in small spaces, and so actually right outside of the adults only area is the top of the water slide, so you're going to have a lot of kids on this deck as well. Nothing too fancy about this water slide, a lot of twists and turns for a compact layout. I definitely think this water slide's pretty awesome, but there's just one on board. There's other cruise ships out there now that have full water parks on board, but there is something for the kids there. Now we're going to head down to deck 12, so there's no deck 13 for superstitious reasons. And deck 12 is going to have Camp Ocean. This is directly below where we just were. Camp Ocean is split between penguins, stingrays, and sharks. Those are all different ages, so depending on your kid's age, you're going to have different activities. We're going to walk into the Sharks area, I believe, here. Nice little space, lots of natural light, which sometimes the kids' clubs get thrown into some decks or parts of the decks that just have no windows, and I feel like it's kind of depressing seeing that on other carnival ships. But this one, really great right in the front of the ship. Then we can walk into the other areas for the Stingrays and the Penguins. So really nice theme here, very bright, lots of ocean colors. I think the kids will have a lot of fun in this room. Another irony about this deck, though, is the lower floor of the Serenity area is located surrounding this kids' club. So they do have a bar in the Serenity area, which is really great. Nice areas to hang out and suntan in. This area was very popular. And so let's walk around this deck here and go over to the one section of this deck that is reserved for kids. They actually have a little playscape under some shade. Which I think is really great. A lot of ships don't have an outdoor area dedicated for the kids. Now moving towards the back of the ship, there are some mini decks available for guests. They have this deck, which I think was at some point a sun tanning deck, no longer in use, at least not during my cruise. And then on deck 12 is some mini golf. So mini golf is completely free on board a carnival cruise ship, and it has this awesome Mayan theme. Now we're moving down to deck 11, the spa deck. In the back here is a cool sports court. They have a dedicated pickleball court on here now, as well as a basketball court. And if you head up those stairs, that's where you're gonna find that little sun deck area. There's also a jogging track on this deck. So if you do wanna get some laps in, you can do that here. What's your favorite carnival ship that you've sailed on? Please let me know in the comments. I'm looking for my next voyage. Now, of the few smaller carnival ships that have been on, I've noticed that a lot of decks are kind of split up. Sometimes you got to walk through dining rooms to get to the other parts of the deck. So we're going to skip forward on deck 11 here to the spa. And normally I do my spa tours on the first day so I can check out everything. So this is a part of the spa tour. 
if you're looking to do that it's completely free and you can enter that spa raffle i've never won the spa raffle i really want to hear from someone in the comments that has won that before i've taken dozens of cruises now at this point never won not a giant spa on board the carnival conquest but i did love these areas for men and women these are separate so you have the dry sauna and the steam room so those have nice little views of the ocean lots of treatment rooms on board of course and different treatments that you can buy i would recommend if you're ever getting on board to book these on the first day that's probably when the best discounts are going to be available but in this area too is the fitness center so really nice fitness center large nice new equipment i like to go to the gym on a cruise vacation because i take a lot of cruises now and i'm trying to stay in shape or get into better shape um, at least break even when i'm getting off the ship so lots of awesome equipment here in the front of the ship and it's got great windows so that if you're on that treadmill maybe in port it kind of feels like you're in the destination running it's also a spa boutique so in case you forget anything or if you want some different creams you can check that out and then they had another treatment room over here set up and here is the main lobby of the spa love this deck too because they have the top of the atrium there all in glass you look all the way down and you have those cool glass elevators that i still remember from my times as a kid being absolutely mesmerized by those so now we're down to deck 10. deck 10 is the panorama deck so that's going to encircle the pool deck so we're going to walk around this deck see what there is to do the Cezanne restaurant which is actually the ship's buffet is also on this deck and there are a few primo cabins located in this section of the ship as well the water slide is going to exit right here on this deck. So if you are someone who's riding the water slide, you got to climb up a few decks to get back on. Right here, you also get a nice view of the movie screen that is out on the pool deck. So lots of movies happening throughout the cruise here. Really great feature of that ship. A couple hot tubs sprinkled in here as well. Now we're down on the pool deck, aka the Lido deck. So big area of activity on board lots of drinking happening here at the blue iguana tequila bar has a nice little story on the menu i recommend reading that on board there's also the red frog rum bar no indoor portion of this on this ship some of the ships have both the pool deck version and the kind of pub tiki bar on the lower decks not on the carnival conquest here's a look at where we just came from so you can see the water slide there a couple hot tubs and how you have to hit, descend the stairs to get down to the Lido deck. Two pools on this ship. This is called the sun pool. And then towards the aft part of this deck, there's the sky pool. Also on this deck are a few quick service options. I love Guy Fieri's burger bar. Deck nine is gonna be where the main floor of the buffet, AKA the Cezanne restaurant is. You're gonna have a number of different options here. You have portside barbecue up on deck 10. You're gonna have the bonsai to go, so not a traditional sushi bar that you can sit at, but you can get some nice sushi to go here. And then your free options. You got Italian, various Asian options, lots and lots of things here on the buffet. A lot of desserts as well, changing throughout the day. And I do want to note that Carnival's buffet is open a lot later than on Royal Caribbean ships, uh, by what I've observed. So that's definitely appreciated because some days you're just not really feeling the main dining room. Sometimes it takes a little while. You just want something quick to go. And that happens to be at like 9 or 10 at night. Immediately in the back of the buffet near the sky pool is the seafood shack. So this is going to be an extra charge. They have some high quality seafood, oysters, shrimp, lobster, that sort of thing. All available for purchase here. Inside there's also the deli. So this is all complimentary. You can grab a nice sandwich. I recommend the Reuben. The Reuben's really good. Buffalo chicken sandwich I had once too. And on the buffet, you're gonna have a few complimentary items to drink. You're gonna have coffee, lemonade, water, tea. Out back too is the sky pool with the pizzeria. It has a nice little piece of art next to the pool. This is gonna be a more serene environment. I liked this pool. I thought this pool had a nice little vibe to it. Elevated hot tub there on the side and the little bar over to the right here. Right next to the pizzeria, which is open super late on carnival ships. Now we're going to move down a few decks because the decks between deck 9 and deck 5 are all staterooms. So we're starting on deck 5 here. I want to note that I liked the art in the stairwells on this ship. Royal Caribbean ships have very weird art on their stairwells. For the most part, this all fit a theme. And if you're not a fan of the theme, that's one thing, but at least it did match a theme. 
So this is deck five. This is where the casino is going to be. This is called the promenade deck because you can walk all the way from back to front, front to back, whatever you choose. Nice little dance floor here in the middle of the casino. So there's like a walking path on one side of the casino, which I found kind of interesting. This deck is also where you're going to find a lot of your shop and on board. So your watch shops, jewelry shops, you have a shop called Cherry on Top, which is a candy store for kids and adults. You can grab some flowers as well here, I believe. Frozen yogurt. A lot of options here, which is really cool. As we keep walking, you can see various shops that I never really stepped foot in. I'm not a big Effie jewelry guy or anything like that. But if that's your thing, that's awesome. This is also going to lead us into the Toulouse Lautrec Lounge, which is the ship's theater. Several decks. This is where all your production shows and your welcome aboard shows are going to be held. Sometimes bingo. It has a nice French Impressionist theme. This being an older ship, you can tell the sight lines aren't as good because you got those metal poles running through the entire theater. But a lot of seating here. Managed to pack in a couple shows on the two-night voyage that I was on. This is one of my favorite areas of any ship. This is the plaque area where all the ports, when the first time the ship rolls into port, they'll exchange plaques. That's always a nice thing to look at for a few minutes on each cruise. And here's the main shop where you can get your carnival gifts, as well as some liquors, I believe, souvenirs, that sort of thing. Right next to that is the Skybox Sports Bar, which kind of serves as the casino bar on some ships. This is always going to be connected to the casino that I've found. And this has a great number of memorabilia. They have games throughout the cruise on. Some ships have sports betting. I don't believe that this ship had sports betting quite yet. They have really big screens for watching any game that you're hoping to watch while on vacation. And it opens right up to the casino here but we'll keep our tour moving. We're gonna double back through the casino. Casino, of course, has plenty of slot machines. They have table games like craps, roulette, blackjack, poker, anything that you could want. You can smoke in here if you are actively gaming. That can be really annoying for some of the non-smokers out there, especially on these smaller ships that you have to walk through the casino to get places. Just keep that in mind. Maybe avoid this deck if you're sensitive to smoke but there are a lot of different machines on board here. Most of the newer machines, for sure, they've upgraded all those. And now we're walking towards the aft part of the ship where a lot of the dining and entertainment is gonna be on this deck. Casino bar over there to the right, dedicated casino bar. You see all the neon or fiber optic signs up there. Notice this on some of the older carnival ships. They use that to sort of tell you where everything is, and it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Shore excursion desk over there to the right. And the coffee shop. It's a nice little grand piano here. This is Club O2, which is the teen club on board. Nice that they have their own dedicated space. Seems like they had an awesome dance floor going on, a little bar for smoothies or sodas and stuff like that. Cool theme too. So walking through here looked like a lot of fun. So if you got teens coming on board, they got their own space here to hang out without the adults. Moving on, continuing down the Impressionist Boulevard, as they call it, on board. Lots of seating. I really love these ships because there are a lot of open seating areas for people to just lounge, hang out. Random stairwells, I'll take you down a deck, kind of midway through the deck, instead of having to walk all the way to one side, take an elevator or another stairwell down. Let's walk in here to the arcade, which is pretty large here. A lot of different game options. The 
kitty casino, as I call it, because your kid's money, aka your money, is going to go pretty fast in here if you let them loose. Just be careful of that if you're bringing some kids on board. But yeah, the size of this arcade really impressed me. I don't know what this space used to be before it was the arcade, but they jammed in a lot of games in here. Next, we're going to check out Henri's, which is the ship's nightclub. So lots of seating over here, small little dance floor there as well, obviously hopping late at night. Moving on down the boulevard, we have the Alchemy Bar, which is probably my favorite bar on board. It's got the best old fashioned. It's my favorite drink to get at a cocktail bar. Bartenders here are always well trained and really friendly, so I do recommend using some of your drink package drinks here. It's going to be a good bang for your buck as well. Next to that is Blues, which is the piano bar on board. Small little bar, but hopping at night with lots of drinks involved. Always a really fun activity late at night. Now at the very aft of this deck, we're going to have the Degas Lounge, which is where the comedians were during my voyage. Nice big lounge style room. Love these types of rooms. Lots of booth seating. Those uh, little booths towards the end actually swivel around, so this could pack in a lot of people, which was great because comedians are always very popular on these ships. And I loved the back bar that had a secret little view of the wake and had a really nice view of Miami as we left. On the other side of the atrium is Vincent's bar themed to Vincent Van Gogh. Didn't see this in use during my cruise, but another little lounge with a bar. Moving down the stairs to deck four, we're going to go check out Alfred's bar. Towards the back is also the upper level of the Monet restaurant, which we will check out when we're going to hit deck three here on our tour. But Alfred's was in use a lot on this cruise. Seemed to be used for karaoke during my voyage. Interesting theme here, too. Moving forward on the deck, I found this room, the gallery, which was definitely not in use. So deck four is a little weird in that you have to walk through the Renoir restaurant to continue on to the rest of the deck. So this is the top floor of one of the main dining rooms on board. They kind of split people around. I think this one had a really nice theme to it, but really pretty French Impressionist theming throughout the ship, if a little dated. going to find the Photoshop just outside of the restaurant. This is going to have all of your photos and paraphernalia that you need for taking pictures. They actually still print out the photos on Carnival, at least on these older ships. So you can go take a look and see if your embarkation photos or port photos looked good and buy a little souvenir. Moving past the Atrium Park West, using this section to display some of the art that they have for sale. And so then as we wrap around the Atrium again, we're going to check out what else there is on Deck 4 here. More photos and pictures from Park West. And then there's going to be the Painter's Library, which I think is kind of a card room. They were using it for some special events while I was on board. So I managed to peek in.
nearby too is circle C, which is for ages 12 to 14. So it's kind of in that in-between age, not quite ready for the nightclub with other teenagers, but too old for the activities in Camp Ocean. So you have some video game areas here, some playscapes as well. So nice little space to be able to hang out as a kid. Now we're gonna walk down the atrium stairs to deck three. Take a look and see what that deck has for us in terms of fun. So here is your short excursions desk, Carnival Adventures. They do have an adventure store up on deck five that we saw a little bit earlier. You have the ground floor of the Toulouse La Trecre Lounge. You have some more paintings on display from Park West. Then you're gonna have guest services. Now we can take a look at the soaring atrium here, which is quite soaring and has a lot of impressionist vibes to it but overall a nice look here and a big hub of activity with that bar down on the ground floor finally there are a few more areas here like the ground floor of the Renoir restaurant you have the chef's table over there to the right which was not open at least not during my voyage and one party shot here is of the promenade on deck three which gets you outdoors here that's our tour thanks a lot for watching